Hello, welcome back to Midford Pottery. Tonight's video, we were going to do some uh, coasters and hopefully with reclaimed glass on them. So I've done a tester just to see how much clay we're going to use per item and it's going to be 200 grams, quite small, little 200 gram balls of clay. We're going to use the shim o, the little wheel. And here is the example of said coaster. 200 grams, so it's 13 and a half centimetres width. And it is squashed out and it is finished with um, Old Forge Creations foot trimming tool. So that just bevels the edge up and gives you a little lip. And then we'll put the glass in there, hopefully. Only other thing, sponge, water and a wooden rib to compact it and flatten it out. My thoughts are, they're going to, I'm not going to cut them off, because when you cut flat stuff off they never go flat. So I'm hoping they'll stay on the bat and they'll be, they'll just pop off when they get dry enough. That's the plan. I'll put that fella over there out of the way. So I've got another six of these to do on our wooden bats. That should do. It's not very heavy stuff we're doing. I'm sure there's a piece of wood in this sponge. I've got a spelk. Right, off we go. So slightly moist there. Dry our hands so we don't get our clay wet. As always, the centering for these is the important bit. So I'll try and cone up a little just to smooth the clay out a bit. Like making a plate, so I'm gonna just squash down with this part of my hand. And when the clear dries, put some more water on. Well, luckily on here it's about it's about where the bat pins are so you can we can see on there I've got about about a centimetre to go so now We've gone past our, our mark, so it's literally, it's just a slight touch just to smooth this surface off. Then we'll get our foot trimming tool and we'll literally just curl that end up. See where we're at. It's okay. I'll just get this water out of here. See where we're at. So we're just on there. So we've gone a little past where we need to be. Just going to expand that out. And then we'll have just a light touch on this. That's it. Now I'm just 
got to finish these uh, little ruggy bits off here. So what I've been doing is use the sponge and just nip it to get a V. And then just gently let it go around a couple of revolutions. So gentlest of touches. We'll have a measure, so it should be 13 and a half, which it is. So that's it. So we're going to do a few more of them. We'll speed it up for you. So I'll talk to you at the end. Seven done. The magnificent seven. So all pretty much the same size. Probably a few mil difference, but uh, they are handmade. Uh, nice thickness. Hopefully they'll dry nice on these wooden bats, and they'll just pop off. Uh, then we've got to figure out how to put our maker stamp on them. So we'll give you, I'll just dry my hands and we'll give you a quick rundown of what we've made and then we'll call it quits. So we'll get the camera off the tripod. Like so, so got the old shimp or the new shimp war, should I say. So we've done one of them and we've done these. So we've got seven in all to be going on with so it'll take a few days for them to dry keep an eye on them and look out for an update on this video when we put some glass and glaze on them and fire them and fingers crossed that they come out okay hope you've enjoyed the video see you in the next one like subscribe comment if there's anything you see in my videos that you like to buy get in touch and I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. Until next time, bye.